may be viewed as an off-the-topic question, but I think it at least needs to be mentioned. Has the Alliance been looking at how to address uh, the ongoing active use of the byproducts of, of the in uranium enrichment program, the so-called depleted uranium, in which, for example, the U.S. has already used uh, somewhat, quite a bit more than 10 million pounds of it in Iraq, and the aerosols of that have been distributed worldwide by air currents. And that's just one example of some other areas which involve, in this country, probably four sites of which only two you have mentioned because there are two additional sites that are then handling this lower radioactive but still highly toxic material? Um, the answer is no. Um, we have, as a network, chosen to focus on the, um, the issues that are directly connected with nuclear weapons production around the complex sites, the policy, as well as the environmental and health issues. So there are other networks and other organizations, the Military Toxics Project, for instance, um, works on depleted uranium issues. There are other, other organizations that have expertise in that area, and we have chosen to keep our focus in, in, in this area. Some of our member groups are working That's to, correct. Uh, to some support of the, some of the DU network. That is, as A and AR network, we, we focus collectively on a, a narrower agenda. And many of the groups work on other issues outside. And at some of our sites, they do um, mock bomb tests as new weapons designs using depleted uranium cores in place of the plutonium. And so we actually um, do work on depleted uranium testing at the specific Department of Energy sites and then in alliance with other groups that are working on it internationally. We've got one more question and then we can mingle. We'll be here for a while and there's snacks.